my real name is Juro Martin Brocano Paul. Um, I'm related to Lino Broca um, because Lino Broca is my mother's tito or uncle, um, which makes Lino Broca my bro Lolo's brother. So, uh, interested po ako sa pelikula. Uh, simula nung bata po po ako. Um, pero coincidence lang na it turns out kapatid pala ng lolo ko si Lino Broca. Hindi mo alam. Um, well, it's not something na like sinabi agad sa akin. Parang like na, uh, yung interest ko sa pelikula na una bago ko nalaman na na lolo ko siya. Parang kumbaga since bata pa ako, hindi ko rin gets eh, sino si Lino Broca. Pero ang middle name mo bro. Huh? Yeah, pero ano po like hindi ko gets how much of a big deal he was. Okay. Since um like ang exposure ko to pelikula nung bata po ako was actually mga western in a way. Like mm-hmm. mga old school Disney mga uh, Snow White mga ganyan. Mm-hmm. Pri- princess pa rin. So anyway, <laughs> um Nagkaroon lang ako ng awareness to how big of a deal to Philippine cinema Lino Broca was noong napanood ko sa TV yung isang uh, airing ng Tinimbang Kamu ni Kulang. Mm-hmm. Tapos from there, parang it was a different kind of film to the usual films that I watched. Na how old were you? I was about Siguro mo Hindi pa pala K2 Sa mga grade 6 Grade 5 Kasi before Pag sinabi pong pelikula It was just about having fun It was just about Kumbaga escaping um, Pero the things that he tackled sa mga pelikula niya was about things na wait lang aren't these the things that you're trying to escape from when watching normal films but then why are you confronted with, with these topics pag sa pelikula niya yung mga pinapanood mo uh, yun pero but then again ang 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 like ang nagagalingan ako sa kanya was that he was somehow able to make these parang confront these people with these issues but at the same time pinapanood pa rin sila kasi sometimes be for me like from what I've been um, papansin ko sa mga tumagawa ng pelikula and directors and films in general bakit merong divide between let's say art house and mainstream na parang for other mainstream filmmakers yung mga pelikula that doesn't fit the usual masaya lang bakit they turn away from those but then somehow Lino Bro was able to make a name for himself by doing both so yeah honestly whenever I watch like um, recently they uh, I think I think I think it was two years ago recently they restored many less of what they wanted they did like the remaster mm-hmm. you saw that yeah I saw I saw that but sa Cinetar UP Film Center um yeah bakit ano pa rin siya like what about the stories that he tell along with Ishmael Bernal but along the stories bakit yung mga stories that they tell something that's not Hmm, something that won't traditionally appear to mass appeal, mm-hmm. pero they st- they still um kumbaga, capture people to actually see those things. But oh, when I saw it, po, actually I saw it before na. Tapos seeing it again remastered. Ang kasi po for me. Uh, 
I feel like it has happened to you then before. But but don't talk about this film. We're very captured with, um, with a certain film. Like, means that you wanna rewatch it. Because sometimes the second or the third rewatch is better than the first. Mm-hmm. And after that, if that's not enough, you wanna learn the stories behind uh, while they were shooting it. What is happening? So many lasts of the Luana po. When I watched it, medyo uh medyo ano siya for me, medyo medyo weird siya in a way for me because the overall story of my nila sa ko ng liwanag. The yung yung parang hmm, yung ironic thing about it was before nag-iisip po ako ng parang mga concepts mm-hmm. for film tapos parang when I watch Manila so ako na liwanag for the first time parang oh, yun yung parang gusto kong sana gawin opo um, but then it was different kasi yung sa Manila, sa Manila so ako na liwanag it was mainly driven di ba parang uh, romance ni uh, Bembel Rojo's character that he was trying to find yung yung uh, yung girl but then dun sa story ng life ko ay sa story, story, story ng life ko sa concept that I was trying to make it was different in a way na parang ano din eh it's a juxtapose between yung provincial life and Manila life yeah, okay. provincial life ng galing si Bembo Rojo pero yung pero ang ganda nung pagkakagawa po ni Lino Rojo with how kung paano niya napagtabi yung dalawa uh-huh. and kasi ano po yun eh parang di ba before pag isang mga concept na si- ay isa sa mga things na madalas sasabi ng mga tao bakit lahat ng tao nasa Manila ba't di na lang sila sa provincia mm-hmm. parang yung idea ko po for that story came from that thing eh from that sinasabi pa natin ng mga tao tapos parang nung napunod ko po yung Manila sa ko naliwa oh it's that exact same thing But this one is driven by romance. Um, I've also seen, actually, the ang mahirap po kasi for me is that if ever I actually did see any nung bata pa ako, I don't remember it as much na. I only remember yung mga how I felt while watching them. Very recently, yung mga napaparad ko na lang po are the ones that are remastered. And uh-huh. Nagkakaroon ng public screening ulit. So, in Shang, I've seen in Shang. At may nilas ako na liwanag. Basically, those are the two most recent I've seen na hindi na ako bata. So those are his masterpieces? Actually, yes. Oh. So, ang, uh, so, you are interested in a film, um, in, in, in film, in a way that you want to make your own. Yes, po. Yeah. Yeah. Um, actually, right now, the main trap that I'm trying to focus on is cinematography. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, medyo uh, ironic siya since Lino Broa is more of a director than a cinematographer. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Pero, the thing na Whenever I hear stories from my lolo about Lino Broca, about his brother, about his brother, um, yung stories na rin ko po, that's the kind of filmmaker I want to be. Well, not in terms of the stories that he tells, but in terms of how he treats the people around him while making those stories. Because parang sometimes mga Well, yung mga bata, kapag sinabing director, they think it's just about being the boss. But it's not about that. Um, I've had the pleasure of working with and learning from a couple of mentors over the past few years. One of them is the late direct Soxi Topasho. And one of the things he said was, hindi ka pwedeng mag-direct from an ivory tower. Mm-hmm. 
lalo na sa industriya ng Pilipinas. Which is actually something na napansin ko po sa film industry ng Philippines na para siyang uh, let's say for ang shooting days natin, five shooting days. For five shooting days, malit tayong pamilya. <laughs> so, some, talagang you can't expect to direct these people or at least work with these people kung hindi mo kayang ibaba yung sarili mo to their level. Which is what Lino Broca is for me. You're not. Nagkaroon na po ng times where some feature length films nagkaroon na ako ng help uh, I, wait, uh, I helped in making some feature length films so naturally sa credits nandun yung debate within myself kung anong pangalan yung ilalagay ko um, well the thing is I treat it the same way kung paano po uh, ko i-handle yung when I work let's say, kahit sa mga small-time productions. Um, during the times po na kumwari, nung example, nung nakapwentuhan ko po si Direk Sok, si Topasio, he knows yet, you're Hindi po niya alam na ako po ako nilig na broka. Well, nung sa start. Like, um, like, that's the, ano po eh, parang for me kasi dilemma siya in a way na parang, Am I allowed to use Tino Broca's name? Because parang he's the person that tulad nga po ng sinabi nyo, parang he insists that everyone be treated fairly. Pero if I start with that, parang it's like I'm asking for um, extra attention or to be treated more importantly. But I don't want to be like I I really don't want to be like that. Para pero there's still the other side of the dilemma na parang gusto, eh, gusto ko itaguyin yung pangalan na Broca. Ah. Di ba? <laughs> sa mga colleges po kasi, di ba, like, kusi yung mga organizations, mm-hmm. like, they make videos for getting to forget that. So, in the organizations that I was involved in, I pretty much became the guy who would hold the camera and take videos. Mm-hmm. Like, well, I feel like grade three, something like grade that. Yeah. Actually, during that time, hindi pa nga po uso ang cameras. Yeah, kasi especially when it comes to ano, SLRs, pag big camera, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. like bihirai pa hawak sa bata. <laughs> How about for videos? For videos, um, I don't know if eh. I don't think we've ever owned yung mga na mm-hmm. handy cam. Mm-hmm. Um, nakapag video na lang po ako with mga point and shoot camera na may record boto na barang. Mm-hmm. Oh, bagong feature to, ah. <laughs> yeah. So that was the only time that I first yeah, actually recorded the video, which actually ended up becoming. Um, Parang birthday tribute video for my uh, grandmother's uh, father's side. Ko. <laughs> I can't remember the very first time, pero I think uh, yung time na lang na nagsink in sa akin na big time talaga si Lolo Lino Pro was nagkaroon kami ng reunion. Okay? Then Philip saw the dark in it. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. <laughs> pero bata pa Actually, hindi ko pa nga po masyado kilala nun si Philip Salvador. Pero alam ko, big deal din siya kasi picture, people were taking pictures with him. <laughs> but you know that, this, uh, that he lived here? Oh, 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 oh. Kumbaga, you know sometimes so parang pag kinikwentohan kayo, let's say, ng, about the great grandfather, parang Medyo it's you <laughs> can't really connect much yeah, 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 yeah. Pero once they start yung like like physical mementos or mga legacy talaga, chapara. Oh, okay, okay. 
Okay. That's that's the only time na parang hindi na lang siya stories from a book. In a way. I couldn't help it kasi in a way, yung question that he's trying to answer or in looking for that meaning, it's something na sometimes us ourselves, we try to avoid it. Mm-hmm. Na... Or rather than avoid it, but sometimes we forget ourselves to ask ourselves about it. Na, lalo na especially boys sa Manila where everything is so fast, fast paced. Mm-hmm. We rarely get that time na makahinto tayo and actually reflect on those things. Because in the end, um, coming from the stories my Lola from, about his brother he was never a person that cared a lot about money um, if someone he knows is asking for money what he will give and he will give and never did he like he will give him as a person I feel like compare that with everyone going to Manila or parang struggling for looking for a job looking for that Filipino dream siguro gusto lang niyang bigyan yung mga tao ng time to ask themselves then na parang para saan ba tong ginagawa ko na to in the end which I guess is also the reason why he's looking for social justice na parang yung mga naabuso ng sistema na whether it be um, sistema sa private workplace nila or government itself or sometimes even like small communities like in in Shang yung 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 nakatuwa yung ano dun, yung um, sistema sa mga informal houses na mag- mal- malalapit lahat tapos you hear everything, everyone knows about everything na well, wala na tuloy ako <laughs> sorry uh, pero yun nga, he's also asking for social justice kasi it's because of these systems that sometimes we fail to reach that moment na marirealize natin or even answer the question na kung ano yung meaning natin. Kasi, parang, it's, or, it's hard to find your meaning if you're struggling to live in the first place. So, magiging meaning mo na lang is to survive. But that's not living. Surviving is not living. I think it, it relates a lot to the question before na bakit yung topic niya is finding your own meaning. Na parang, Yeah, absolutely. The great Philippine audience. Do you think the audience today would uh, be receptive to Lino Broca movies? Um, Your generation. Hmm. It's hard to say. Because the generation now, regardless, I mean, well, you generation ko and i feel like even past generations in today's current climate like political climate and mindset parang for me very unpredictable kung what <laughs> the reaction ng people eh pero um yeah, actually, um, it's, it's a nice dream, a Philippine, great Filipino audience. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, parang yun yun na kalungkot din eh. Um, in the past, we've had that controversial year in MMFF, mm-hmm. na parang very indie yung mga mm-hmm. lumabas, mm-hmm. but then. 
th- and those were good films. Some were great films. Mm-hmm. But then how come next come next year, it you know semi reverted back to the, how things were na made great divide so audience na bakit made divide between indie film and mainstream film and how come nagatakihan pa sila mun, you know mm-hmm. lahat tayo Pilipino yeah uh, yeah I, I always think of the audience pero yun din yung struggle I, f- I feel like of all filmmakers that you can't always think of the audience kasi you can't please everybody so given that parang it should be a balance of yung sarili mong like pleasing yourself in a way and yung audience mo mm-hmm. kasi if you 100% audience lang ang sinunod mo then ano yung binigay mo dun sa film as a director like parang mm-hmm. what's that something that you gave into that film mm-hmm. But you are aware that at a certain point, filmmakers would have to compromise. Yeah. So, yeah. So you yung balance po. Na even if you, uh, you you think of the audience and think of yourself at the same time, it it should be a balance of those both things. Never ka dapat one hundred percent into one side or one side only. Yung ipu minsan yung compromise about it actually. Na well, you know, bro, Apo, from the stories that I know, parang he made, he, he makes a deal with, um, let's say, with, with mga big studios back then, na, since he didn't have his own, like, that much money to make his own films, parang the deal would go, like, three commercial films, and then after that, sige, I'll fund your, your, your passion film. Uh, you know about that. Uh, yeah, about that. <laughs> <laughs> so your passion film. Uh-huh. there will be times. I feel like no matter, like in different kinds of art medium, whether it be film or like paint or parang sculptures or whatever art, there will be times na kailangan as an artist 100%. Eto yung gusto kong sabihin. May may mga things sometimes na uncompromised there's this message that I want to say that I want to make mm-hmm. and that sometimes will be the exception to the rule na wag mo munang isipin yung audience kasi sobrang importante ng kailangan mo sabihin na to <laughs> so what are your future plans? Uh, future plans ko po well uh, I don't expect myself to start directing films again again like uh, over the past few years, talagang I've been collecting experience from from about going up. Mm-hmm. I really want to know first and experience first the situation of kumbaga, every worker in the film industry mm-hmm. before you know I sit on that director's chair. And Assume all the responsibility. <laughs> the long extremes. One is in the Kilala, and the other is what the. And the funny thing is, no matter who si naman yung tao na yun, if they recognize the name, parating the stories that they know or personal experience that they had with Lola Lina Brava, it's always something that's positive. So that's something that I really admire about. May, may Lola Lina Broca na well, parang paano kaya maging tao na like the things that people remember you for is always positive uh, well si Terex Oxy nakatawa po kasi like an, ano siya like uh, they're both directors tapos sometimes may feeling kayo na parang oh but pag magkaibang director, competitor yan, ngayon magkalaban sila. Pero hindi, like, yung memories that he had with uh, the director uh, Lino, like, even though there were times na minsan nag-aaway, pero in general, like, friendly and positive. Nakakatawa po. 
Yes. I'm not sure kung sa, sa dugo yun, yung always asking yourself, what's the meaning <laughs> yung sa, sa life? Kasi, yeah, I always find myself asking myself that. And that's the biggest question there is, na I feel like you should always remember to ask yourself. Kasi once you forget, parang yung and you'll be distracted with non-important things. Uh, parang mawala yung meaning mo to all. Wait, bakit ka pa naging tao? <laughs> like, and same to how I aspire to be like him, but not with how he directs, but with how he is as a person. Like, we all have our own idols. Na, yeah, be inspired by your idols. Pero, don't be your idols. Like, kung wag mong gawin na lang ano yung ginagawa nila. Like, you can, you can uh, apply certain things that they did in their life to your own life. Pero it's still your own life. Like, Lolo si Lindo Broca, and I'm very, sometimes I feel pressured na Lolo ko siya. But at the same time, I'm continually inspired by him. And yung pressure na feel ko, some, like, I, I do my best to see it as a challenge to, to become even better. 